So Sora 2 came out a few weeks ago, OpenAI's latest video AI model, um, but you have to use it in their app and all the videos you create have watermarks on them and it's geofenced and you need invite codes, etc. So they recently, in the last few days, brought out API access. So I thought I'd build uh, a quick workflow in any 10 to allow us to create as many Sora videos as we want without any watermarks and we can do with them as we please. So it's very straightforward. All you need is an OpenAI API key uh, and I'll make this template available for everyone for free who wants to do this themselves. So let's get straight into this workflow. So all I've got here is set video subject. So I'm just gonna use this as an example, drone sweep over a coastal cliff at sunrise. So this is a, a very simple prompt. Um, this is just, uh, this is what you would put in, in plain English as a very simple um, uh, subject. And then later on in the workflow, this will take that simple prompt and turn it into a, a more detailed, perfectly crafted prompt for Sora 2. So I'm just gonna run this workflow. So it's taken in the, the simple prompt and I was running it through the prompt generator. Um, and once that's finished in a second, we'll have a look at what the, the finished prompt is. So if you look in here, it's, uh, you can see, I'm not gonna read through it all, but you can see it's given much more, much more detailed um, kind of cinematic directions for the sort of prompt. Um, we'll just take a quick look at this prompt. It's just, I basically asked ChatGBT to come up with uh, various best practices, some example prompts, and also some guidelines on what's not allowed because sometimes uh, when you run this, OpenAI's moderation steps in and it says, no, you can't generate a video of that. Sorry, which is very annoying, but it's better to get it in at this point rather than uh, find errors later on in the workflow. Uh, so this is now running. So what this does is it submits the video request, which is very quick, and then it gets gets the video ID to then um, to then download it later on. And it also this gets the status. So you can see the first time this went through, it's in progress. So this will take around anywhere from like six to twelve minutes, depending on some of the inputs. Um, and this will just run through in one minute cycles. It'll wait one minute, check the status again, and then when it's finally complete, it will go through and it will get the video, and then you can download it from there, or you can just do whatever you want with it, upload it to Drive, like I've got here, for instance. Um, in the submit video request, you can see it's, um, we just got the prompt going in there, and then you can pick the, the model, Sora 2 or Sora 2 Pro, and you can pick the size, so I've gone for portrait size here, you can also do a landscape or whatever, and then the uh, the duration in seconds of the video. I've gone for 12, I think you could, I think 12 is the maximum. Um, yeah, you can, you, can, you can change this as needed. Um, so this, this is just gonna run around a few times, probably like eight, nine, 10 times, uh, and then I'll finally get the video and I will come back to this once it's finished. Okay, that's finished. It took about seven or eight minutes. Now let's have a look. Let's download this file. Um, and now let's take a look at the output. So here it is. Let's have a look. I mean, yeah. Pretty standard stuff. Obviously, good audio. It's fairly straightforward. Um, obviously you can play around with the prompts a lot. I put no thought at all into the prompt. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. So it's uh, uploaded to the drive as well. So it's in here. I did some other examples earlier. Um, I did one earlier, which was uh, Glaswegians in a bar arguing about who the best Teletubby was. Really tinky winky man, big purple legend. Ah, get away with ye. No, he's a, that lad's the best, he's sunshine. sunshine. It's a big yellow balloon with a exactly. trumpet. Exactly, trumpet's big yellow balloon with the trumpet. Yeah, okay, so, um, yeah, that's it. You can do whatever you want with it. Obviously, you could then extend this. You can add in your social media uploading on the end here. You can set this on in a schedule, connect it to a database of different video ideas so that it pumps them out regularly. Um, hook it up to your Facebook ads um, and upload these things to test automatically. Lots of different stuff you can do. 
Um, as I said, I'll make this template available for everyone uh, down in the description or YouTube comments. Um, so everyone can take this for free and it's really simple to set up. You just need an NAN account, an OpenAI API key, and that's basically it. Let me know in the comments if there's anything else you want me to cover. Um, I am back on uh, making these videos now. Um, I'm still gonna I'm still gonna focus a lot on Annie 10. I'm gonna introduce some Claude Code stuff because I've been I've had a great time experimenting with that the last few months, um, and I can probably combine the two as well. Um, but yeah, I've got lots of exciting things that I'm working on currently. I'm looking forward to sharing them with you soon. Thanks for watching. See you next time.